Linda Donadu from Symbol Gifts Farmstead, and this is Ashley Donadu, also from Symbol <laughs> Gifts Farmstead. We've had a wonderful day here at the Farm Fest in Sharpsburg, Maryland, and we've made a lot of new friends, and uh, we've just had uh, so much joy here. We've enjoyed the music that you can hear in the background, and my new friend Kim. Uh, sold me these very cute lion head rabbits. So look forward to some more videos with our new little buddies. We haven't come up with some names yet. We have a boy and a girl there. So who knows, maybe you guys could comment and give us some name suggestions. The lavender one is a boy and the, what, what was that name? The chocolate tort lion head uh, is the girl. So, uh, give us a comment. Give me a suggestion. What should we name this really cute little girl and little boy here? Uh, we'd love some feedback on that. Um, I'm going to introduce you to a few new friends that I've made, and uh, I think that you next year could enjoy the Farm Fest as much as I do. you guys to my friend Kim and Kim is uh, who I bought my two new rabbits from. I love them. I'll show you some pictures of them and I'm going to ask Kim a couple of questions. Uh, how long have you guys been coming to the Farm Fest? Um, we've been coming ever since they started having it so it's been quite a few years now. We come to the spring and the fall. Very nice. How many animals do you bring? Um, Honestly, we probably bring 100, 200 animals. And what chickens. kinds? Um, we bring pheasants, turkeys, um, multiple breeds of chickens, laying hens, peacocks, and some bunnies. And bunnies, yes. Did you guys have turkeys this year too? We did, yes. Excellent, excellent. So was it a good time today? It was. We basically sold out, so couldn't be any happier. So nice. And I couldn't be happier with the bunnies, so thank you so much. guys to uh, a new friend Dustin here. Hi. And uh, tell me about Boots and Roots, Boots to Roots Boots Farm. Boots Roots Farm. Um, we uh, generally raise Cooney Cooney. I apologize if I'm a little muddy. We raise pigs. Um, we raise Cooney Cooney pigs. It's a New Zealand breed um, that uh, was originally created uh, by the, the Maori people of New Zealand. So Cooney Cooney means fat and round. <laughs> um, they're, they're, they are um, uh, a multi-purpose breed. We do generally use them as a meat breed. Um, so we sell registered stock, we sell um, castrated males as meat pigs, and then we sell um, meat, um, elevated cuts of meat and, um, and charcuterie for, as for them. Very nice. So tell me why you come to the Farm Fest. We love it. <laughs> we come every time um, and we don't always sell piglets, um, but we come either as um, as customers or in the springtime sometimes we'll sell some we've also raised Nigerian dwarf goats so we sell some of those um, and we just love it we think it's such a family you know fun just great time it is and where are you guys located uh, we're located in Woodsboro Maryland which is kind of in between Thurmont Maryland and Walkersville Maryland so about 10 15 minutes outside Frederick okay very good and what's your favorite animal is it the goats is it the pigs oh it's the pigs Definitely it's the pigs. the pigs, yes, for sure. It's the pigs. Um, they're just, you can't beat their personality. Um, they're just so fun, so smart, and um, I love them. I love coming home. I work full time, so this is kind of our side gig, and I love coming home, and it's just my, my therapy to be able to go out with them and hang out. Very good. So, friends, if you need some Cooney Cooney pork, uh, or if you need a Cooney Cooney pet, uh, check out bootsrootsfarm.com for sure. I want to introduce you guys now to my new friend Heather who is at Urban Farm at Prospect Hill. Heather, tell me about lavender. Why grow lavender? 
Well, the reason we grow lavender is because it is deer resistant and rabbit resistant. So we had lots of problems with deer, with our fruit trees and pumpkins, everything we planted they ate. Nice. So this is the only thing we could find that they didn't touch and, and they hate it. And so what products do you make with your lavender? We have lotion and spray and soap. We have some lip balm and all kinds of sachets. We have the dried bundles over here and then so the, oh there's the buds and that's what's in all of our sachets. Nice. So do you use lavender medicinally, as in for sleepy balm or do. anything like that? I do. I spray this on my pillow, but other than that, that's all I use it for. I have heard people use it for all kinds of things, though, so to mm -hmm. keep um, moths away in their closets. To uh, We had some people buy some today to put in their chicken coops. All kinds nice. of things that they use it for. Good idea. Good idea. So um, if somebody wanted to buy it online, is this the website that you use? to? Irwinfarms.com is the website. We have it there. We have a pick your own event the last weekend in June every year. And I've just opened our potting shed that should be open probably every weekend from now to Christmas where you can come buy our products in our potting shed. Very nice. Very nice. And um, what brings you to the Farm Fest? Well, I had been here as a customer a couple times um, with my daughter looking at all the animals. And when they decided to do it in the spring, I signed up, but then it got canceled. And so we rolled over to the fall. And it's been a great experience. We've had a really great day. Very good. I've had a great day too. And thank you so much, Heather. Frisco Bay, she said, give it away, just give it away, and that big full poster came inside bed, all I love was made, she said, give it away, just give it away.